Nicole is the CEO of her marketing agency, and she is meeting with her VPs for cost-cutting purposes. But she's mad. She's angry, and she's saying, hey, we need to cut costs, and nothing has happened in two months. Now, one of her VPs, Mike, speaks up, and he says, you are asking us to cut costs, but you are building a second private office, which will cost around $150,000. In this moment, Nicole gets mad, almost wanting to fire Mike. How dare he challenge my authority? How dare he think that I am not trying my best? But she applies the principles of crucial conversation to get back into this conversation. She focuses on what her higher self wants, not what her base self wants. She asks herself this question, what do I really want here? Do I want to punish the VP because he said that I am wasting company money or do I want to make the company successful? As soon as she cleared her motive and she identified they actually wanted to make the company successful and that the VP was not trying to hurt her, he was just trying to help, the VP now felt like an ally, not like an enemy, and she quickly regained her composure. And then she said, hey, this office that I'm building is for hosting people and for marketing purposes and to improve the company image. And the cost is not as high as you think, but I will check on it. And I can see why this feels hypocritical to you. Thanks for bringing it up. And then she goes back to the conversation of how to cut costs. So the challenge for most of us is that when we are in these difficult conversations, when we are in these crucial conversations, when the emotions are running high, when the stakes are high, we steer away from our main purpose, our main goal. In the heat of the argument, in the heat of the battle, when the adrenaline is flowing and your amygdala has a hijack, our motives change. Instead of wanting to do the best for ourselves and for everyone else, we start to want to just win and punish others. We want others to suffer in that moment when we are in the middle of the battle. So the key is for us to be able to recognize that and be able to step away from that. A prime example of this is road rage. Nobody really wants to be unsafe or die in an accident, but when the adrenaline is flowing and there is an amygdala hijack, people do stupid things on the road. And that is what we want to avoid. We want to stay focused on what our higher self wants, not what the base self wants when we are in the middle of what's called an amygdala hijack. So the key question you want to constantly ask yourself when you are in these difficult conversations What do I really want here? What is the highest purpose? What does my higher self really want? And the key skill here is to be able to step away from the conversation, to be able to step above this current conversation, to be able to think bigger picture. We have to be able to think meta. We have to ask yourself, what is the motive? What do I really want here? That is the guiding principle. That is the North Star. What do I want for myself? What do I want for the other person? And what do I want overall for this relationship and for all of us? You see, what happens is when you ask this complex question, the neuronal activity shifts from your amygdala back to your prefrontal cortex, the governor of your brain, the executive part of your brain that can think clearly and rationally. So ask yourself these questions when you are in these challenging situations so that you will find a way out of these situations. 